Okay, we're going to make a basic HTML5 uh, framework uh, for a web page, and we're going to do this in gedit uh, using the Zen Coding uh, plugin. So first thing we want to do is make sure that it's set to HTML. And now we hit Control-Alt-E, which is the dynamic expansion as opposed to the static expansion. And what we want is first an HTML5. And that all goes in. And inside of that, I would like a header. I would like a um, let's see an article. Uh, I would also like a footer. Uh, and inside of these, let's bracket them off. Uh, inside of these, inside of the header, I would like an image and I would want it to automatically be sourced as logo.png. Uh, and I would also like it to have the alt of logo. And now inside of Oh, and I'm forgetting the navigation. Obviously, if we want to stick the navigation in, we can stick it into the header or we can stick it in by itself. And let's stick it in by itself. So plus nav. And now we now have a nav screen and bracket it off. Inside of that nav, I would like an unordered list. And inside of that unordered list, I would like a list and I would like five sections for that list and let's make sure that I assign a class to these so I'll most likely replace them with the actual words but it automatically writes the class for me so why why put in the effort if you don't have to uh, and now inside of the article I'm going to have uh, a section and I'm going to have about five of these and inside of the five of these sections is going to be an aside. And then finally, I'm going to access my footer and it's going to have three generic divs uh, that are going to have a class of footer underscore and three and we go down, voila, I have a fully functional web page. All I got to do is fill in the details. Uh, that is the amazing power of, uh, of the Zen coding. Uh, thanks for watching.